In 2021, a resident of Argentina complained that she could not remember where she had spent the last 24 hours and how she had ended up 140 kilometers from home. Local newspapers quickly broke the news, believing that paranormal forces or aliens were involved. Irma Reek, 55, said in an interview that it was completely unexpected. She had been drinking coffee when her phone suddenly started to malfunction and then the power went out. When Irma went outside, she felt a strong gust of wind and remembered nothing else. Fortunately, a medical exam revealed no health problems. But what was it, no one really knows. A much more interesting and very similar case occurred on September 30, 2021. Susan Morales, 42, of Mello, Uruguay, was out for a walk with her dog. The walk was supposed to last about 20 to 25 minutes before dinner. But, neither Susan nor her family waited for her pet that evening. Already in the night, greatly disturbed, they reported the missing person to the police. City cameras were able to trace the woman's route. It turned out to be common. The Mello resident had followed it hundreds of times, and all the relatives were aware of her whereabouts. But not this time. According to the video footage, Susan and her dog had walked only halfway and were nowhere to be found where they were supposed to turn toward the house. Given that the street at that point has no curves, it is extremely difficult to speculate where she might have gone. The investigation, finding no leads in Mello itself, extended the search to the entire department of Cerro Largo. It wasn't until the fifth day that it became clear that Susan Morales had ended up in Mexico. No one knows how she got there. She didn't have any money or I. D. on her. It's impossible to buy a ticket and leave without it. And Mello resident herself asked passers by where she was until they took her to the police. After returning to Uruguay, the woman went to the hospital because she found a round mass on her hand in the soft tissues between her thumb and forefinger that had never been there before. The X-ray showed a metal ball about a centimeter in diameter. Susan decided to cut it out. After the extraction, all hell broke loose for the woman. Every night she dreamed of creatures that resembled cinematic aliens taking her away and conducting some gruesome experiments. She was immersed in various fluids, injected, and biomaterial taken. On the second week, she could not stand it and turned to psychologists for help. In a state of regressive hypnosis, Susan Morales, remembered, what had happened to her the day she went missing. I saw a blue flash. It blinded me, and the next moment I was in a room. It wasn't like a room or a hall. Everything around me was moving, changing, and the walls were a mixture of fractals. There was no Hugo around. My dog was gone. I was alarmed, but then I felt a kind of lightness. My feet did not touch the floor, and my body began to rotate, taking a horizontal position about a meter above the floor. Then a table materialized, lamps, some creatures whose faces were hidden by suits that looked like chemical protection. I felt no pain, though I saw the thinnest needles being pricked into me. Perhaps they were even thinner than a hair. The most disgusting thing was when such a needle was inserted into my eye. For a moment I was unable to see, then everything stopped. One procedure after another was performed. I felt like I had been there for hours, but, at the same time, I did not want to eat or drink. It was very scary, and most importantly, no one explained anything to me. I was very afraid that I would never see my family again, but luckily I was allowed to go back. Susan had several interviews with psychiatrists, psychologists, ufologists, and she also attended courses where people who have experienced similar alien attacks meet. Rehabilitation is still going on. Dreams, according to relatives, have become calmer. The Uruguayan resident has had to take serious medication to suppress her memories and nightmares. The metal sphere that was removed from her hand was given to ufologist Rodrigo Moises for study. Perhaps we will return to this subject when the results are published.